This episode is made possible by support from our patrons. Thank you guys, you rock. Don't get up. What do you do when you're sailing around the world on a sailboat, but you need to visit the doctor for a serious, but not life-threatening ailment? Rob was told three months ago he has a dodgy looking mole. He has picked a GP at random from the phone book and made an appointment to arrange a time to have the mole removed. Robert, you've yeah. got a doctor's appointment. Yeah, I do. 9 2, what's the time? It is, well, I think it's about 8.50. Really? I think so. So you better get up. I was going to run down. I know I'm going to join you. So oh, get up, get changed. We've you got come to get with going. Me. I will come with you. I'll come with you there and then I'll run back. Are you going to film everything? <laughs> oh. yeah, I'm going to film everything. Quality content! <laughs> We headed out to run the three kilometres to the doctor's office, but on the way came across a skin cancer clinic. Rob decided to call in to ask their advice. So something pretty cool just happened actually. I, um, we were running past uh, onto the way to the doctor uh, as an appointment, which I've actually, actually just cancelled because um, <laughs> we were running past the skin clinic and I thought, I wonder if um, maybe we could get an appointment just cut to the chase. And, uh, and I went and knocked on the door, the door was locked. Um, but I saw inside there was somebody in there and I knocked and got her attention and um, turns out she's a like a, a professional not a receptionist or anything she's the boss and um, it's her day off <clears throat> she and her husband are doing renovations and um, and she's about to go to the gym <laughs> and I told her what my thing is she had a quick look and she said look yes it probably needs to be taken out um, but look, I'm, I can't do it today, it's my day off. I said, oh, okay, well, we're sailing. I explained our situation. She said, oh, look, look, I'll do it now, but I've got to go to the gym. If you come back in an hour and a half or so, um, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at it and take it out. This is Rob, and I'm Rachel, and these are our boys, Finn, Declan, and Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Javelo across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. Would you mind if the actual procedure up close and curly was filmed? Yes, I would. You would? Okay. <laughs> Take photo when it's open, but yeah. that's something. Right. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you. What was your name? Oh, uh, Rob? Yes. Hamel. H-A-M-I-L-L. How bad would it be if I didn't have it local? I would not recommend it at all. No. Not even closely. All right, this is the worst part. This is just the local going in. New Zealand has the world's highest rate of melanoma, around four times higher than the US, Canada or the UK. This is due to the strength of UV radiation New Zealand receives, the portion of the population that have skin types that burn easily, the low ozone layer and the tendency towards outdoor lifestyles. Oh, sorry, I'm just asleep. Um, oh, I had a... Um, one on my chest actually that I went in to have a look at and mm. he's the guy who said, oh no that's fine. He had a quick look at him back and said, oh no you've got to do that. Videoing was politely refused during the procedure, but the skin removed looked like this. The hole left behind looked like this and the suturing looked like this and then like this. Before we left we met Dr Koleski's husband who was doing maintenance work at the rear of the clinic. He was wearing a very important rugby jersey given to him by a South African rugby legend. <laughs> Can I just get the shit? I do. Yeah? It's oh. uh, Michael Duplessis if you want to go. Oh, there's four man. brothers that played for South Africa. Yeah, the Duplessis. Famous yeah. name. So uh, they were school with me. And he was oh, the captain? Oh, really? He was the captain when, when this jersey was born. What yeah. year was that? 19... probably 1989. I'm not okay. sure. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I'm going to say somewhere. Oh, somewhere. And so an expensive shirt like that, you're wearing oh. while you didn't make it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't look after. I'm cutting you off the neck. Can I, do you mind, can I go up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, all. okay. <laughs> This is long as you yeah. don't say bad things about me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, number 10. Fly half. So, as luck would have it, just as we were leaving, I thought, you know what, I've got a couple of moles that could be looked at. So and I actually, Alison, didn't Alison, your sister, say? Well, my say. sister, several years ago, said, hey, you need to go and have that mole looked at. Yeah. And I never did, because... Um, but I asked the doctor to have a look. She took a look at them both. She said one of them's fine, and she said the other one is worse than Rob's and has to come off. She said Rob's a big baby, but mine definitely has to come off. <laughs> um, yeah. What did you say? That I'd probably be more worried about yours than I would about his. Yeah. yeah. To come out. So, so. And then what did you say? <laughs> I don't know. I don't you asked what the time was. You yes. said, what's the time? Yes. <laughs> we said 10 past one. And you said... Okay, then. Oh. So this is a your day off. Day off. And, yes. uh, she's and two yeah. operations. We're going to get a shot of your outside surgery so people can know exactly yeah. where this has just been so great kind. Great doctor here. And great surgical <laughs> skills yes. suturing, apparently. Yeah. And so I'm now going to get to witness myself. I, don't, I just witnessed. I don't want it now. <laughs> I, it. I don't want it either. Oh, <laughs> this yeah, is great. I know. Oh, this is just... Thing. Um, this is genius. You've got two options. The problem is you're traveling. So we can do a tiny two millimeter margin. The problem is if it is a dysplastic nevus, you will have to go back for a bigger margin. Mm -hmm. If we do a five mil margin and it is dysplastic, then that'll do. If we do a five mil and it's a melanoma, you will have to go back again. But then it's a much bigger one and you need a ten mil margin. Yeah. Yeah. So five mil margin is a bigger cut playing it safe. Erring like in between the two. Yeah. Um, so... Well, yep. I leave, I'm in your hands. Oh, yeah. you do what good, you good, do. Stitching, so good suturing, Rachel. I'll go Very good go big. I did witness that. Go big or go home. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, Thank you. I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> so I just did a little bit of surgery uh, just now. You didn't do I surgery. Had, oh, I, surgery. Did. I had to remove some packaging. I had to. I had to remove some packaging without touching any of the surgical instruments. It was a very delicate operation. Did I pass with flying colours? You did, but you did. Thank you. <laughs> I, you said it yourself. She, the good doctor said I'm now qualified. What surgical something assistant? Assistant. You have you it? Are at best because mm -hmm. you opened a bandage package. And a thermometer thing. I don't know what it is. Yeah, the cauterizer thing. Cauterizer the thing. Oh, the cauterizer thing. So if someone says pass me the cauterizer thing, I'll know what to look for. I know how to open it up too. <laughs> wow. Don't mock me, Rachel. She's mocking me, isn't she? Maybe subtly mocking me. Subtly mocking me. Just very slightly. Just slightly. I couldn't tell. If you do feel pain, please let me know. No blood. Where's Yet. the blood? I don't have blood, Robert. Um, so the local anaesthetic we use has got adrenaline in. And uh, that shrinks down yes. the blood vessels. Yeah, sure. All right, now you have to get off my sterile field, please. Yep. Thank you. The procedure was over before you could say Jack Robinson. The removed skin went into a jar, the whole creator was sewn up, and all that was left to do was thank the good doctor and await our results. Look at that. Beautiful. Ta-da! Ta -da. Beautiful. Makeover. Beautiful. <laughs> 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 the following day we slipped out of the marina in the early hours to convalesce at a place called Yellow Patch. Did you not pay the bill? I don't do <laughs> Don't say a word. <laughs> we're just sneaking up now. We just snuck off. I think we're quiet about it. Just through the ropes. You want to on there? Good. Idle forward slowly. Just quiet as a mouse. What time is that? 5.15, 5.30. Where are we off to? Uh, we're off to Yellow Sands, Yellow Bank, Yellow something. Uh, yellow Patch. Patch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, well, I better get the ropes before the uh, propellers take Yeah, the ropes will be off the side before you know it. Yeah. It's like an attractant. Even though we've put them on the decks, they'll slip off like snakes into the water <laughs> and then into the propeller. <laughs> My work here is done. I've put away all the fenders and all the ropes. I'm going to leave Rob to sail us to Yellow Patch. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Okay, I've got something here that I thought you might find of interest. Um, I put out the line, uh, we were just coming out the North Passage into the Pacific Ocean, um, out of Gladstone, and uh, just as we were exiting, a, probably a two metre tuna leapt out in front of us. And uh, so I thought, boy, oh, jingoes, we're going to have to put the line out. So I put the line out and uh, didn't catch the tuna. But I did catch this seaweed. And uh, it reminds me of a conversation I had with a mate, a guy who did our sparking work, actually Simon, from Winter, Winter Electrical. And he was saying, whenever he goes swimming, if he sees a bit of seaweed in the sea, he'll eat it. And um, good nutrition, iodine, best source of iodine. If you're sort of questioning marking about whether you're getting enough iodine, and um, Best source of writing. Yeah. So I'm gonna have a sample. Where do you start? So I'll just start here, I think. Salty. Salty. You can eat it. It'll taste like it was a smooth sail 30 nautical miles north of Gladstone to Yellow Patch, a beautiful anchorage with a shallow entry only accessible through narrow channel at high tide. At Yellow Patch, the okra sand meets the blue sky. We stayed for a couple of nights, visited the nearby Cape Capricorn Lighthouse, and then departed, but not before we left our mark in more ways than one. I'm trying to take a leaf out of Rachel's book, which is impossible because I really can't, but I'm going to have a crack anyway. I'm going to have a crack at what could be our logo. A brief, so I'm going to, I've mapped out some spacings along the beach here so we can do the mural up on the on our canvas. And we have Hyvin here, ready to rock and roll. He's got the drone up in the sky. And now, off we go. Ivan guided us back out to sea on our return to Gladstone. Our test results arriving by text en route. Rob and I have received our texts from the doctor about our moles that we had removed. And Rob's is all clear. Mine's not quite so clear, but it is clear. So I have, Rob's just says all clear. <laughs> You're a big wuss. And mine <laughs> says, um, Melano, uh, melanocytic navus with architectural disorder and minimal to mild cytological atypia. Margins clear, good thing we took it out. And I have phoned the doctor because that wasn't entirely clear to me what whether I'd need any follow up from that. And so it just basically means it had some changes and it had to come out but it's all good, they got it all and it hadn't become cancerous but it was, it was showing signs of going down that route. So it was a good thing. Yeah, what was the question I asked to ask the doctor? You asked me to ask the doctor, had you saved my life? And she said, yes indeed, <laughs> you would be six foot under if it wasn't for So I think that's what her words Yeah, I'm, I'm, words. I'm keeping me as a date. There are times, Robert, when you look at me and I kind of see in your eyes that you wish I was there. <laughs> and yet you saved my life. So, which is it? <laughs> Mixed messages! Table goes up, incision begins this soon after. This is the only reason I'm doing this, except for this ride. Free ride. <laughs> <laughs> I do Get love there. a very cheap thrill. The contrast between that kind of normal yellow sand, the really rich, more orangey 
Hi, I'm Tommy, and I'm 19. I like to lift weights and wear sunscreen. If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps. Come.